Hey, you're breaking the law. Get her. That's a fine. That's that. You did. I, I am the law. Uncle Sam was a real person, most people probably wouldn't like him very much, you know? So we just went over to the farmer's market and were joking with them about, uh, you know, buying local and, you know, stuff I support. But, so I was wondering if you guys would be willing to play along if I asked you about your signs from Uncle Sam being an asshole aspect. Hey, hey Tom, this, this is good for you, come here. <clears throat> we got somebody who, uh... Would play along? Oh yeah, he'll play along, all right. Hi, my name's Adamo. I, uh, obviously dress up as Uncle Sam sometimes, and... Uh, today we were down at the uh, local farmer's market and I was trying to act like if Uncle Sam was a person, most people probably wouldn't like him, you know, so yeah. hassling the raw milk people about not using the FDA and da 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 So I was wondering if you all would be interested if I asked you a question about the sign or the force, but I'm, I play like the, the asshole, I support what you guys are doing. It's just, yeah. I would be like, bombs bring peace, But right? you, you're playing Uncle Sam, so I'd have to come down real heavy on you. That would be awesome. Yeah. I would appreciate that. Go ahead, ask me a question. Okay, well, I'm going to walk up, and then if you're holding your sign, I'll just kind of engage you and ask you about it. Well, this this is an Occupy demonstration rather than anti-war. Oh, okay. But I think that the, one of the chief messages of Occupy, and what's the number one thing that we, the people, don't want to do for they, the money, it's go over and kill people and be killed. Right, I understand So, that. I mean, it really should have, that's one of the problems. It wasn't the central message. And, of course, Obama, instead of jumping out in front of Homeland Security, and he could have changed this entire society, instead, he sent Homeland Security to beat their fucking heads oh, and really? gas Absolutely. them. Yeah. So he ain't your friend. Oh, I know that. He ain't I hear your friend. You. This guy is not your friend. Where are we going to see this? Uh, it'll be at freekeen.com probably or some other websites as well. I've, I have Uncle Sam uncensored on Facebook, yeah. and so he's on there as well. Good. He's done, I've done them all over the country. Wow. But yeah, I'm from Keene. Wow. But yeah, Dynamite. I haven't broke it out in a while, but so I figured I'd give it a <laughs> shot. So yeah, I'll just walk over and start giving you, right, uh, giving you guys some... You want to stay in there? There we go. We got over here. Hey, I'm the one percent. You are the one percent. I am the one percent. But I why? Know. Why are people honking if they're the ninety-nine percent? What's the ninety-nine percent? Well, as you know, the one percent has taken the sweat from our backs. That's where do you think they got their money? How do you think they became slave owners, wage slave owners? So. The problem is it makes a mockery of democracy because Congress is bought and sold, the president's bought and sold. You remember Eisenhower said, beware the industrial complex? No one's listening to that. The industrial complex runs everything right now. Well, that's me just keeping people safe. You know, I have <laughs> peace with bombs. There Keep, is no keeping other way. Keeping Afghan citizens safe. Yeah. And keeping Iraq safe. And my safe. 300 million Americans. Yeah. Got to keep them safe. You, you mean, know? and those soldiers just sent the multiple tours to get injured and killed? Keeping them nice and safe on illegal There's wars? There's always a price, but I mean... They pay the do? price. You don't have to pay the price. The suckers pay the price. I'm trying to do the best I can, and there is a real threat out there. How, yeah. can, we, how can we not deny it? What is the threat to you? Socialism? Terrorism. It's terrorism. Yeah, tell it's me terrorism. all about it. Nice job. Nice. It's great. I mean, it, 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 it does cost money, and I know I spend a lot of it on war, but it, look it. People can drive around free. We can stand out here with our signs. We're all happy. Can't do that in Iraq, Afghanistan. No? No. Well, maybe in the future, once they accept my rule. <laughs> it's all about, it's just taxes. That's it. You need a little bit of money, the world goes round, right? No, no. I keep people safe. You are so full of shit, man. And what's the you, alternative? The alternative is put you in fucking jail, try you for murder. That'd be a little harsh. I own the jails, though. Uh, I make money off the jails. That'd be like me going to a motel. Yeah, I guess it would. I'd be like chilling. 
but uh, you know what reality is, my brother. The I know. If the reality is that we're all scared, we don't know what to do, and I try to alleviate that for people. And yeah, it costs like 40% of what you make. I think that's pretty generous. <laughs> I could take 90, right? Yeah. I could. You know, you know what the top tax bracket was in the United States in the 1950s? Who's that? 92%. Mm -hmm. And that indicates that both Democrats and Republicans couldn't have had that unless both Democrats and Republicans believed in a dramatic progressivity in the tax code. That's all gone because of trickle-down economics with Reagan. Now, now the rich people just keep their fucking money, they get it off the sweat of my back, and now I'm a wage, not just a wage slave, now go send me, go send me to a drag to kill people illegally. You motherfucker. That's pretty hard. George Washington was one of the original terrorists, wasn't he? And the, all his cohorts. Well, maybe... Aren't I, you glad he was? Well, it helped me out. Yeah, it got me that. I didn't just help you. Legalize my theft, rape, and murder, right? Oh, so you admit it? Yippee! Well, I mean, it is. <laughs> if I wouldn't do it, who would? So that's what the other terrorists might say. That might be true, but they're not as powerful as me. I mean, we we the all. Romans, I, I, the I'm Romans doing this. had a lot of trouble with terrorists too. I don't. Believe I'm you. doing. I, this. I don't. I, you should be worried. I'm not too worried. I got the support of all the people. All Love my 300 million people. They support me. Of all the people. Love is what still. we still came here taxes. for. All Do you know people. what I mean? All I the people. How long that will last? That's lasted about 200 and some years now. Well, we've never had terrorism and we've never had this situation where drones were being sent by our presidents, etc. So this is a new time, huh? I don't know, I just think it's, it's 200 years I ago. can still fix this, you know, if you just give me a little more control and a little more money. I don't think we could give you any more control. The Democratic Party has completely abandoned their principles now that the war, they've got the war. When Bush had the war, they hated it. Now when Obama's got the war, party loyalty trumps common sense, so they're on board with the war. There's nobody out here Do you want to be paying $30 a gallon for gas? If I oh didn't go to God. Iraq, right, this son, I'm a petroleum geologist. Don't tell me about the cost of gas being rational. It would have been it has so nothing expensive. to do with the cost of gas. I if mean, you know what gas really costs those clowns, you would be as a, out here with us. Well, trust me. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep prices in control, regulations, fairness, equality. For the Koch you know, brothers. For, for everybody, especially my friends. Yeah. You know, those some people are a little more valuable, right? As the we're not brothers. equal, really. How it's is, like how are they more valuable? Yeah. Well, I got some friends. What? Give me the parameters. Well, I mean, I have like my friends with the oil. I have my friends in the pharmaceuticals, and these they help a lot of people. I mean, all these folks need to drive around. People need to be healthy. You know, the school system. I do a lot there too. <laughs> That's the a good stuff. System. Yeah, I mean, I, that's a big burden to educate millions of children every year. But I do it. I do it. I'm so proud of it. It's a little property tax, but... I think the people do it and the teachers do it. I'm not too sure that Uncle Sam does it. Well, I do it, you know, by their consent, with their directions, right? They pay me some tax, I, I get some money, I make some rules. But if I were in the 1%, I don't pay taxes. Well, I don't. So I, ever, I, get, to, I get everybody somehow, progress. a little bit. I, got I get everybody somehow. I you know, some the rich people pay. You know, they buy a big boat. I get five percent of that. You know. Was, it, was there ever a time in an entire history of the world when 460 times the average wage existed in any country as it does today? It's I don't more know, like I know I jail times. a lot of people too, but that's just because people don't listen to me. I mean, I know I jail more people than any other guy in my position. 5% of the world's population, 25% of the world's prison population, private prisons. That's because people just won't listen to me. I mean, they use drugs when I don't want them to, they don't pay taxes. But what know, about they, the white collar criminals? I don't see many of them in your prisons. Well, there's a few. I mean, a few. That's, yes, that's, all that's, you, that's, thank you for that word. There's a few. and uh, That implies not all. Well, Bernie's in jail. I, got, I, I had to let that one go. You know, he had how to go in. To, how does it feel to prosecute people for smoking pot when you smoke pot? Doesn't that make you the biggest mm -hmm. hypocrite that ever walked the earth? No, I mean, it's all about the war. People do bad things. I'm responsible, and the laws really don't re apply to me anyways because I, I'm special. But people, I have to make people safe. People do bad things when they're not in the right state of mind. Yeah. And so I can't. I, I have to stop them from putting things in their body that are Even bad. Even though you did it with impunity. I was curious, and you know, if you don't get caught, why don't you go to jail and then it make it kind of make more sense if you agree to go to jail? 
like I said, jail, nah. It might be nice that you could probably build it up real nice for yourself. Have a couple of nice You know, I'd be fine. Get three or four big guys to fuck you up the ass. How about you get like a whole bunch of industries and companies to give me some more money, I'll legalize it, and then we can tax it. We're both happy. Fuck you. That'd be <laughs> all right. I'll make billions. You're not taxing what I'm growing in my living room, my buddy. Well, it's, I kind of can. I have to. Well, you can try, but you know what we might do? I'll tax we might you get either, rid of you. I'll either tax you with a raid or we can do it like the easy way on April 15th. You know? You have some good lines, son. I, I wish, like some of us, you had spent some time in a war situation. Your thought process might be different. Thank you, anyway. Uh, you do well, a we'll good see. job I, on I, your I'm, side. I'm Is running. this guy ever going to get a haircut? <laughs> Why would I do that? <laughs> he doesn't want to pay the haircut tax. I haven't paid for a haircut in one head of hair. Are you actually black with vertiligo? Because that looks like a fro man. Because I am black. I just came, I got a bad, bad case of vertiligo. Oh, like Michael Jackson? Yeah. I look white, don't I? Yeah. <laughs> but I, I was actually born in Nigeria. And I never bullshit you. Why would I bullshit? <laughs> you stopped that fucking kid, right?